Hello, we are group two of the Sustainability Council CSL placement. So for an introduction to our partner organization, the Sustainability Council was created in 2018 and is led by an academic team based at the U of A's North Power Plant. The Council works with every faculty as a leadership organization, promoting sustainability through integrated learning and teaching opportunities. They offer experiential initiatives, research involvement, in internships, and a certificate that can be achieved alongside one's studies. Recently, the Sustainability Council has shifted more commitment to advancing the UN's sustainable development goals that have a 2030 timeline, which is where our project ties in. Now, Cade will take you through the impact of the Sustainability Council. The Sustainability Council has a major impact on the community, providing everything from internships to certificates of sustainability to help students in their academic goals, to creating sustainability action plans to help the school be more sustainable. They also work on Sustainability Awareness Week, which does hands-on workshops, film screenings, guest speaker panels, walking tours, and explorations of local food to help broaden students' horizons and show them a lot more about what it's like to be more sustainable. Next, Liam will take you through our project. Our, pro our, our group was tasked with helping prepare the U of A SDG Alliance for its launch in the winter 2021 term. We specifically assisted the future student group by preparing the website, its social media posts and blogs. Once the SDG Alliance launches, likely in January, it will be conveniently able to post the social media content to its various platforms and upload the blogs to the website. Next, one of my teammates will take us through the process outline. So after we were assigned to a CSL Foundation group, we had our first meeting on September the 15th, where our course facilitators discussed the aim, criteria, and expectations of the SDG Alliance Council. We also established a time for the weekly meetings, which, were, which was 9 a.m. every Thursday. We divided our roles and tasks between team members in upcoming meetings. So Kate was in charge of the website, Liam and Mirren were our blog writers, and uh, Anne and I were in charge of the social media recruitment posts. Google Docs were created and shared to all members so that any piece of uh, useful information could be shared. We relied mainly on course materials and our own research to carry out our assigned tasks. And every week until now, we have been meeting to lay down future goals for the group and to track our progress. We have decided whether or not we should make the public the website public or post media on the internet. My friend Anne will now take you through the issues that the project is intended to address. Many problems the SDGs aim to solve are better worked on collectively, as they are global issues. However, not everyone knows what these goals or issues are. So the problem our project is working to address is the lack of awareness and knowledge about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and the issues they are addressing. The SDG Student Alliance will be a resource that will provide a space for students to come and learn about the SDGs, and if they join the group, a place where they can start to help make important changes. By educating students about these issues, the UN's goals that target them, by educating students about these issues and the UN's goals that target them, we are addressing the problem of unawareness. Now we will take you through our project output, including website design, blog posts, and our social media content creation. Hi, so I'm going to take you guys through a quick tour of the website I was, I've been working on. So this is what the homepage looks like. You go through, it'll show you stuff about the SDGs. It, this link will take you to the actual SDG website. We also have quick overviews of our blogs. We have an about us page where you can get to know everything about what we basically already covered in the, the presentation and a bit more in depth. Then we can go to a contact page. This one is still a work in progress because we're still waiting for like emails and um, more official things like that. We also have our events page where we will be posting events in the future. And our blog page where we are posting all of our information on the blogs that Liam and Marin have been working on, as well as a place where you can subscribe to the blog by putting in your email and being added to a mailing list. 
So this helps us in a lot of ways because it um, gives us a way to help re start recruiting people and spreading the information. And it also just makes it a lot easier to do those things, especially during um, 2020. Um, I'm now going to pass it on to Marin and Liam, who are going to talk about the blogs. All right, so Liam and I each worked on creating interesting and relevant blog posts that would be made available to the SDG Alliance and shared in the future for reference by interested students or members, likely on the website, as Kay just showed you. For the blogs, we decided to mostly bring focus to concepts related to the AREC 173 class, particularly surrounding food systems and food insecurity, and ways that sustainability is upheld and advanced on campus. I wrote an initial blog overviewing the SDGs and what the U of A SDG Alliance would look like. My second post discusses goal two, which is zero hunger, and goal 12, responsible production and consumption, specifically, as they are central to addressing food issues. So far, I have written two blogs, one introducing the Campus Food Bank and its role in addressing the SDGs for zero hunger and climate action, <clears throat> and another on the Muslim Students Association's action on the SDG for zero hunger. Since the semester isn't over yet, I plan to continue writing more blogs. So this slide shows some of the blogs that we've already written. These are just a few examples. And like we've already stated, there will be more blogs that we'll write in the future. Next, we will look at the social media content that we've produced. So Sumeda and I have been in charge of creating social media content to recruit, inform, and update students on the SDG Alliance group. I have made posts summarizing some of the blogs that Marin and Liam have written and some discussing the SDGs themselves, while Sumeda has been focusing mostly on SDGs that are related to food and food insecurity. I am also in the process of creating a series of posts briefly explaining each of the 17 SDGs. Uh, the social media will also be a place to update students on upcoming events and other things that the Alliance is doing. So here are some examples of our work. Many of them are still a work in progress, but at least you can have an idea. Um, we will now tell you about the skills and information we have each learned from the project and the connections to our course, AREC 173. Through this CSL project, I improved my communication skills as I regularly met with my teammates using Google Meet. I also frequently contacted representatives for various student groups through email. I learned more about what some of the specific SDGs represent, since I referenced how student groups address these SDGs in the, in the blogs that I wrote. This project reinforced my speculation that the U of A might be a food desert. Since there is a lack of food vendors a lack of grocery vendors close to campus, many students are likely to depend on overpriced fast food that they cannot afford, thus increasing the likelihood of students skipping meals. However, many students that do not live on campus also experience food insecurity. The Campus Food Bank decreases the prominence of food insecurity by, don by donating healthy food to members of the campus community. The Muslim Students Association also does this by improving students' access to cultural, culturally diverse and appropriate halal food. These two student groups are helping to transform campus into a food oasis from either a food desert or a food swamp, since there are many unhealthy fast food vendors on campus. So by working on this project with my classmates, I've improved my teamwork skills and had practice with collaboration and communication. Since I worked on social media posts, I got to develop skills on content creation and some graphic design. It was also really fun to incorporate creativity and science together into one project. Through research for the social media content, I learned a lot about the SDGs and ways the university is currently targeting some of the goals and ways that we could be targeting these goals, especially pertaining to food insecurity. A connection to the class I've made is the concept of strong versus weak sustainability. 
By setting up the SDG Student Alliance Group, we are participating and actively working towards these global goals in our own capacity. This is a representative of strong sustainability as we are working towards a sustainable present and future by incorporating practices into our communities and schools that reduce our ecological footprint as well as conserve natural capital. The research we have put into this project has reflected the importance of local food and how supporting local organizations like the Campus Food Bank or Community Gardens can help address food insecurity. So for me, I have definitely improved on my interpersonal skills while meeting the group each week. And I would have otherwise not gained these skills given the, so the current social distancing rules. And I have also learned a lot about agriculture, that is what we produce and how we produce and consume. They would have a huge impact on whether or not we will be within the planetary boundaries. One connection that I found to the course is the concept of inefficacy objection, which states that the actions of a single consumer does not make it does not make a huge difference and that collective action is required for uh, success. This often, this line of thought often discourages consumers to take sustainable action. And I think that's where our SDG Alliance comes in to create awareness of food choices and the SDGs so that consumer attitudes can change so that they can start taking um, sustainable action from home and then later work in, t in communities to make a bigger change. I learned a lot about my ability to work with a group and especially um, put it to the test during these times. And I learned a lot about working on a project with such a large scope. Realizing like that our project's gonna continue on and people are gonna work on it in the future and it's gonna help people, it's completely different than just working on a one-off presentation with a group. I've also learned about new ways to get involved with the projects by learning about basic website creation, which is something I didn't think I'd be doing for AREC, and editing and proofreading of other people's work. I've also learned a lot about presentation of important ideas and how to make it interesting for people to look at. I've also learned a lot about the problems and solutions relating to SDGs on campus, like how we have the Campus Food Bank that addresses food insecurity and helps to reduce inequalities. and how the school works towards responsible production and consumption by managing um, water consumption issues, by dealing with safe waste disposal, and how the sustainability action plan created by the Sustainability Council helps to influence the school and help it work towards a more sustainable future. During my time working on our CSL project, I gained further insight and greater knowledge overall of the SDGs and their value, and how the Sustainability Council in particular is playing a role in their advancement. It is amazing to work with my peers, especially considering we have done so remotely, in building a group for the U of A that will attract and encourage students to uphold the values of sustainability and who are willing to push for action to be taken both on and off campus. I also developed some further skills in writing blogs, which was new to me prior to this project. It has been enjoyable to consider my voice in writing and how I can potentially encourage or spark an interest in others to go and learn more about the SDGs. A key connection to class that ties into our project is that the type of production matters in terms of sustainability, specifically regarding agricultural production. For one blog I mentioned, I wrote about Goal 12, which is responsible production and consumption. Um, that ties into the class concepts surrounding the fact that agricultural production is generally coupled with deterioration of the environment. If the UN can successfully achieve its targets for the SDGs, and Goal 12 particularly in this case, then there is a better chance that the impacts of agriculture can be intentionally reduced. Yield gaps are another related connection to class and are relevant to both Goal 2 and Goal 12, which I wrote about. So we hope this presentation has provided some insight into our project and has brought some more attention to the work that is being done to encourage and advance SDG action.